Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're going to look at Jello Apocalypses. So this is basically series, specifically Genshin Impact. Now, I might be aware of this game and have spent more on it than I am going to acknowledge publicly, in case my wife is watching. But other than that, I actually know about this for once. Wee! More importantly, this is the first video I've been back since I got my wisdom teeth out, and right now, uh, this is mostly a test run to see how painful this is. Already the answer is, oh god, why am I doing this? That said, I really want to watch this. So I'm going to fight through the pain and watch this anyways. You guys know the deal. There's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. And let's get started. Genshin Impact is the only adventure game that actively encourages you to beat up a child each week. Spend hundreds of hours hunting in-game treasure and spending real- Oh, he was referencing child. Um, can we pretend I got that? Let's let's just ignore I had that mistake. I thought they were talking about Klee. It's like, why would you beat up on Klee? Even though she's kind of terrifying. Real world currency to collect sexy anime characters with impractically asymmetrical outfits. Ooh, yes. Each with their own distinct personality that makes the Genshin they well do. worth the gambling. There's the overworked one. The overworked one. The overworked one. Hey, wait a minute. You play one of two twins. Doesn't matter which. I'm sorry, I just realized overworked is the... I... Was there a lot of, uh, background I missed in Genshin Impact? It's like, hey, do you know what's really fun? Crunch time! Let's make every character as overworked as we are. I... God damn me, Hoyo, what were you doing? Why don't you pick because the cutscenes and dialogue will misgender you no matter who you choose. It's yeah. you are separated when a primo gem shaped god picks you in the dick, which is oh, an yeah. accurate portrayal of the game's gotcha system. Now it's up to you to find Still better than fake right away, though. You are joined on your adventure by Piedmon, a sentient baconator who happens to have the baconator? exact same design motif as that god that just- I'm sure it's unrelated. No to read into that. Instead, yeah. Piedmon suggests the two of you walk around the entire planet. This is a rational suggestion, in so much as it was suggested by your rations. Travel across the nations of Tevat. <laughs> I'm sorry, can I see that? I, I just want to see that again. Did she just- it was suggested by your so rash, much as it was because of the joke that Paimon is emergency food. I love this image. Oh my god! I just this this right here. I don't care if the rest of this video is shit. I know it won't be, but I just want this image as a thing. <laughs> Travel across the nations of Tibet from uh. bisexual Japan to libertarian Germany to the rolling hills of Zhongli's butt. Work your own yeah, butt off so that's people about finally agree to help you locate your missing twin. Oh, you saved our whole country here. We'll put up a poster. Yeah. And there. even at the end of the day, you didn't him. need it. Gee, thanks. Oh, no, don't worry. Oh, hey, this they're talking. Wow. interact box That's is weird. the size of a boss arena. Passers by literally can't help but read it instead of talking to nearby NPCs or going through doors. Yep. Whoops. Use all seven elements to rapidly swap with. <laughs> okay. Did anyone else just catch that there? <laughs> just that little NPCs moment of smugness. Going through doors. Whoops. Just that. I just. <laughs> I love this because those two are brothers, uh, by red and blue here. I know the names. I'm just honestly pulling a blank. I had no idea why. Huh, weird. I just love how, you know, they dick around with each other. So I was like, oh, I'm going to kill him by forcing him to just turn around all the way and kill him. <laughs> She's terrified. And he's just like, oh, no, he's dead. However will I manage? <laughs> also, he may or may not be evil. Use all seven Hell, we may or may not be able. swap between characters to crush your enemies underneath Ooh, an avalanche Zarya. of numbers. Nice. Or don't, because the game has decided you can't switch characters right now because you're too short, so now you have to die. Roll for characters. Yep. Roll for weapons. Hate that. Roll for artifacts. Roll for some stats on said artifacts. <laughs> Ooh, this one looks good. Come on, come on, come on. No. 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 no! Nothing to say, just having, just, I don't. If anything, I think her reaction is too restrained. Frankly, the world shall be breaking under the sheer levels of salt she's dropping on it. Hi, it looks like you're having trouble with your rolls there. God you damn know, evil Paimon. You could always oh, she spend money. Come on, just a little money. I'm sorry, what the fuck was that? Oh my god, it's evil Flasher Paimon. <laughs> Who thinks of this? That is also completely accurate. Oh my god, truly, she is the evil villain we always knew. Come on, just a little money. Oh just one god. money. Just 30 money for a swimsuit for this cardboard cutout. You could be the 
the one to give these women pants! Don't Amber's shorts look uncomfortable? Aren't you tired of seeing Kami Sato's diaper from every conceivable angle? The pan is in a menu right now! Can you shut up for like two seconds? <laughs> Because Barbara keeps speaking over whenever they're in the menu, and it's not actually her phrase, but her voice just comes on randomly. Yeah, that happens. Also, oh, she's putting the artifact on here. Oh, that's how they do it. Cool. More importantly, I'm just, I don't, uh, this is, I'm getting a weird shot of Freudian here, but a shot of Freudian at myself, but it's like masochism, but it's not because I'm seeing someone else do it. It's like seeing your own suffering in someone else. And enjoying their suffering because you suffered. So it's enjoying someone else's suffering and your suffering at the same time. Why is this a thing? Also, I love how he just gave her little devil horns with the hair. Noise. I literally can't! I wonder what I'm gonna miss all of my big sister! You know you the voice acting is quality because the English actors are aged like a fine Osmanthus wine. What? Unable to reveal their role for months for literally no reason. Pour one out for Scaramouche. One day you'll be able to put that meaty Genshin credit on your resume. <laughs> on that note, if you're looking for someone to voice Il de Torre when he finally shows up, oh, my God. website is www.brendanblaber. Hang out with other players. If they actually hire me, I'm going to laugh my ass and off. And only other players, because when you have a friend with you, all the NPCs in the world suddenly think that you smell. Enjoy looking at another player's world and barely interacting with anything, like some sort of parasocial ghost. But that is, if you could join your friends at all, since the world level keeps new players locked away in baby jail for weeks as we only did can't even upgrade until they've beaten the game ah oh, that part right there is annoying the entire being locked in jail with certain characters because you can't get far mm. because some characters require materials you get later on and you can't build them so it's like i got really lucky got this amazing powerful can't use them Why is it? It's gone from enjoying suffering to just pain, pain and rage. Sometimes it's wildly charming, and other times the localizer appears to be a sphinx with a thesaurus trying their worst. What? Nothing but is that proper a, like a Legends character? Oh, what the? F Dance. Oh yeah, it's literally all. Oh, this is actually the lines. This is. These are actually the lines. Well, that it would superconduct if you hit it with a snowball. Wow. These side quests have a surprising amount of dead parents in them. You yeah. know what they say? Sire a child, die in the wild. Mayhaps this that happens a lot, actually. A Almost cheerful. all of the parents are dead. Oh! Oh no! What? If there were two gods in Liyue, and one of them killed the other with a rock, would that be fucked up or what? It's pronounced Liyue! Li waste. I mean, technically, there were three gods, and he did kill one of them with the rock, and then he did it again in cutscene. Very big rock. Well, he let us do it for him, but eh, he set up, so I'm going to give him credit. Also, he may or may not have set up the lady who may or may not have been his lover to die horribly because she wasn't strong enough, in that, but maybe also she didn't because her people didn't and they died, but also she didn't because she let them. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, and the more fucked up it gets, the more like, yeah, this is a MiHoYo game your time with side content like fishing, mini games, and the world's most cumbersome tea set as you prepare for future adventures in the yeah. nations of Sumeru and Nanalan. There's a great, the big, wonderful world I know, Sumeru, is Nanalan actually a thing? And the it's Genshin that looks like they're designed for silly things. Why don't we explore the area ahead of us later? Mm, I hate that phrase. Paimon. Paimon. This has happened to me! This has happened Paimon. to me! I, this is real! This actually happens! Paimon has killed me multiple times this way. Not even a joke. That just happens. I should probably tell her I'm just streaming on Twitch, right? Hey, thank you guys so much for. <laughs> the best part is that's basically how the actual character dynamic is breaking down. The other one isn't missing. They're just ignoring you. So if there's anything I've learned from this video, it's that Paimon being a massive asshole is literally just revenge for us trying to eat her. Is that the truth of the matter? I don't know, but I'm sticking to it because, dear God, that last joke at the end about being run off the cliff. So many times. I have died. So many useless times. He's like, okay, I'm just going to go around this corner. Ah, and nope, you need to fall now.
just just walk to your death. <sighs> yeah. So much of that is accurate. This is disturbingly accurate. Also, they've really ignored a lot of the true beauty of the game. No, no, wait, they focus on Amber Size. We're good. Joking aside. Yeah, it's a very accurate summation of the game, and the roles are shit. Unless you've played Fate Grand Order, in which case you realize pity, as horrible as it is, is still cheaper by more money than you should ever reasonably throw at anything. Yeah, just this is a perfectly accurate summary. It's not even a... So basically, this is a complete summary of how the game feels to play. Not the storyline. That's completely missing. But the actual gameplay experience of this is some of the things that are going to annoy you. And it's not a maybe, it's a must. They will happen. It's perfectly accurate. <laughs> also, um, Rosaria got to mention. Nice. Just really like the character for reasons. Mostly because, you know, hot nut. But other than that, yeah. You guys know the deal? I'm just going to leave a link below to the original video. It's, you know, Jello Apocalypse. I was going to say Justin Blaber. I mean, I know that's his real name, but it's just weird that I would say that now. As far as I know, this is going to be the last. So this is basically, unless he decides in the future to do more of them. And on this one, yeah, nice. And maybe he made a little joke about, <laughs> this took so long because it took 90 wishes to get it. <laughs> ah, pity system. You are a bitch, and yet also I am very glad you exist because it would be so much worse without you. It's all the same. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see if I can record more. This one actually hurts quite a bit, but I really wanted to see this. Yeah, wisdom teeth. Sons of bitches. Glad I got them out, but oh god, everything hurts. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.